Good morning, folks. Sorry we're a little bit late this morning. Kids, we are under unsettled space weather conditions this morning. We've also got to dissect weather and a top few news stories of the day, but we begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star much more calm by comparison with the halting of that activity and surface behavior from the last two days. Switching to see the blue umbral magnetic fields, we can determine that there are still some sunspots and similar features relevant for review. Coming down to see the few groupings on the north, departing spots are loners, and the incoming group about to hit center longitude has not grown one bit since developing days ago. It has not gained magnetic complexity or made relevant solar flares either. Well, folks, the solar wind tells a pretty clear story, and it should be no shocker that about two hours after we were discussing the geomagnetic storm alert sent out by the Disaster Prediction app, that it actually did show up on the official charts. We reached up into level 2, but are coming back down now. Hopefully that was the end of the significant portions of the stream, although we do have that coronal hole facing Earth on the equator with the bulk mass of it to the south, looking like that thin bit will face us for about 48 hours starting now. Quick note of an odd event in Morocco where a giant wave injured five people and killed one more after slamming into the coast very unexpectedly. Let's get to some news of the geek variety. Folks, we've got fine-tuning of some known solar periodicities, including one that closely matches the slightly longer than one year pattern to sunspot interaction with the magnetic bands on our star. Up next, the Pluto-Charon relationship just got more interesting because they believe the moon shields the dwarf planet from solar wind when it's in the right position, especially if it has an ionosphere. You bet we'll be discussing this on the website in terms of our moon and other planetary interactions. Up next, this is the 2008 image from Beta Pictoris, the discovery of an exoplanet, and since then, we've come a long way. After almost a decade of study, we know that the normal current sheet is tilted due to Beta Pictoris b, a planet 12 times the size of Jupiter, with an inclined orbit that literally bends the local heliosphere and density distribution. New images aid in the size measurements, which are new, along with the radius, surface gravity, and atmospheric temperature. Article is linked for you below along with the others. Folks, here's one more look at that tornado that ripped through Illinois two days ago. Thoughts are with everyone involved in that onslaught. But folks, how about this one? That is a sustained snow NATO, and I'm not sure how you blame heat energy or normal convective action and potential for that one. Seems we'll be needing a more magnetic explanation. Let's quickly peek in on this line of storms as of dinner time last night. So what really causes these outbreaks like this? Well, a strong low pressure earth spot sat over the Great Lakes and all lows suck wind into them, counterclockwise in the north, clockwise in the south. And their convergence arm where the wind collides are always strongest in the southward position. As soon as these flows meet, their temperature, moisture, pressure, vapor content, and electric potential must equalize in a very short window and that is always where we find the storms. High pressure dominating today in the United States. We're going to go around the world with that in just a moment. First, thank you for the barrage of emails yesterday with screenshots and other captures demonstrating that the app was the fastest solar storm reporter on Earth for the eighth time in a row. For those who have questions about the alert maps or the app itself, Post them in the comments today because a Q&A is coming soon. We've got the pressure and radar forecast and a null school run followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.